Hi, it's me again with Corel Draws Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this file and they cannot get the that part of the A to be engraved. This is a font called Ashley. And if we look at it, uh, I actually went down. They told me the font. The font's not called Ashley. It's called Porky's. Left click, right click, and you can see we need to weld it to make it look like this. But if you do it in the wrong order, it's gonna take the A away. So we're gonna do it in the wrong order first. We're gonna to go to object and convert it to a curve. Our another, none of our weld tools come up. Go to object and break the curve apart. Our weld tools come up, we weld it and it disappears. So let's back up here. If we control K first, and you can go object, control K, select it all, and then object and control Q. Then you can weld it and that A stays and everything's welded. So just always, if you can't remember the order, uh, K comes in the alphabet first before Q. So when you're doing that, I never, I'm, I'm so used to not using control K and control Q I just go up here to object, and if you look, I shouldn't say in all corrals, but in most corrals, this is gonna be first and that's gonna be second. So let's back up here and just kind of do it again. So if you use this method, object control K is above control Q. Select it all, and then go to control curve and then you can weld it. Now, this, it, you know, I, I, I figured out a way to do it without the font. He's got the font, but it's not a font any well, anymore. And I don't know, you know, it's a curve. Uh, so if I break it apart and then weld it, I get the same result. So I don't want that. So what we can do is while this is still, let me back up here so it's still together, I'm going to take a square node, which is like right there, and put it right on top of the other square node, and then I'm gonna move it out of the way, okay? Then all you have to do is take your Smart Fill tool and fill in that, nudge it back, and then left click, right click. Just make sure it's the same point as your letters. You know, we've got a half a point and a half a point. And just make sure they're both, let's see, R26. See, it, he's using a different black. So I'm gonna right click and have, well, I'm actually missing. I need to figure out where my 100% black is. But just make sure they're both the same black. This is an edge light that he's gonna engrave and, you know, this will look pretty cool. I don't, I don't know that it'll be that readable. Um, you know, if you, if you cut this out of a piece of acrylic and it doesn't look good, if you've, and this, this might be overkill, but if you, let's just do this. Let's say you have a piece of acrylic Okay, and the piece of acrylic is this size. And I would take some uh, blue painter's tape and tape down the acrylic on your rulers. Let's actually make those painter tapes blue or any, I mean, it doesn't have to be blue tape. And you cut this out. So you've got a red hairline, so it's gonna cut out and then it's gonna engrave. If you take that and put it in your edge light machine and it doesn't look good, you can still engrave it with other things. Let's take this and just play with it. Now what you can also do to make this solid is take the Smart Fill tool and see they're not really connected, but we can go down there and go down there. N I nudged. So now this is solid. We can move this around and the A part will go with us. 
but don't move it, nudge it. And then you could try a number of things to make it stand out. Uh, I'm just gonna take a suggestion or make a suggestion in case that doesn't look good. You could take vertical lines and let's nudge them uh, 0.125 apart and control D and you could actually use the uh, docker for this. Now let's take our Ashley and move it out of the way for a second. Well, I messed up and I don't know exactly where it was, but we can get it back. I want to nudge it like 10 inches because what I'm going to do is group this together. Go up to object and control G and then put Ashley back. And you know what? We're going to have to probably group these together since they're two different ones. And then put Ashley back and you could actually, you know, skew it, um, you know, so the letters are a little bit different and then select it all and intersect it. Now remember to take the outline too. And you might want to go the opposite direction. And then if we nudge it up and over, it might be more readable. I think I've moved it over. So, you know, it's 0.125, grab it and just move it over. But if you didn't move it, that way, if that doesn't look good, just make sure these are half point line. And you could use circles or, or you know, this particular font might look better engraved the other way. And you could fill it in with anything. You could fill it in with circles or squares or hearts or anything you want. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. Thank you for watching.